In this video, you'll see how to record and manage your takes in SoundWhale. Each audio panel has a Record Enable button inside of it. Press this button on the panel that you would like to record, then press the Record button in the Transport, and then press Play. Record enabling multiple panels will combine them into the same stereo file. Also note that the Record Enable button in the Player section will record all of the audio files and takes in the timeline. You can mute or delete audio from the timeline that you don't want to record. Press stop and the file will be created. It shows up in the takes list and is named and ordered by the date created. To find the file on disk, you can right click the session file Go to Show Package Contents, and then open the Takes folder. There is also a small button at the end of the take after the name. This allows users to mark their takes in case something stands out. When the Timeline button is activated, the selected takes get added to the timeline from the point that they were recorded. To remove the take from the timeline, just highlight and delete. Turning the Timeline button off will show you another view of the list. As you can see, when the Timeline button is not engaged, they won't show up in the timeline when selected. But selected takes can be exported in both views by pressing the Export button. Exporting a take will create a file in two ways. The first way is relative to the timeline in case you want to bring it into your editing software it can snap right into your project with an offset. The other way is to export just the file itself, disregarding its location in the timeline. You can also right-click or control-click on a take to bring up more options. You can deselect all, you can select all, you can select marked, or delete selected. Press Record Enable in the Receive panel, press Record in the Transport, and then press Play. That is how you record when connected in session with a contact. If Latch Mode is turned on, it's very important to remember to disengage the Record button when auditioning takes in the timeline. Otherwise, new takes will get created each time we press Play. However, there can be network difficulties, so recording on both machines is safe and secure. Now just like before, you want to record enable your receive panel, but this time, put your record button into latch mode and turn on network synchronization, and then open up a sync track in your file panel. Now in Gomez's screen, he's gonna be routing audio into his send panel, and then record enabling that channel, turning on record in latch mode, and then also making sure network synchronization is turned on. And then, I'm ready to press play on my machine. The sync track in the timeline is only needed by the one in control. You can click to different positions, press play, or press stop, and your contact will see it in their timeline as well. So now, if I press stop, it will stop recording on both sides. In the takes list, you'll see a recorded audio file, and that's the audio I recorded from Gomez. In Gomez's take list, he's gonna see the audio that was locally recorded on his machine by me over the network. This is a great way to record a performer that doesn't wanna be pressing buttons. Video clips can also be recorded in SoundWhale. First, open your video file. Next, attach any of the audio panels that you wanna include in your recording. Then, press the record button in the video file area. Press play from anywhere in the timeline. And yours too. When you press stop, a clip is created of the video file and any of the audio that you attach to it. You can access the file by right-clicking on the session and then going to Show Package Contents and opening the Video Clips folder. 
Avengers 2.